Welcome back to the weekly Reddit review. Let's see what you guys been up to this week. Should Kotal Khan have a diamond card in MK Mobile? The simple answer is yes. I want to get MK1 version of Kotal. Wait, is there? I think there was a. I think I saw Kotal Khan in one of the trailers. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if there's Kotal Khan in MK1. But if not, I'm sure there's a lot of cool skins from MK11 to use. Uh, to, to put Kotal Khan in the game. Absolutely. MK11 Kotal Khan. Maybe we finally can get a human version of Kotal Khan. That would be so cool to see in the future. Welcome to MK Mobile. Oh, I like the title. What on earth? That have never happened to me. I wish it did though. That seems like a very fun glitch. That seems like a very fun glitch. I would love this to happen to me. This is hilarious. Guys, the entire MK1 DLC roster got le leaked. Is this fake? Is this Albert Einstein? Come Choose on! Your fight. Fight. The this is gonna get copyrighted if I let the music play. Pope Francis, Merkel, Trump. How? Wait, first of all, where did you get all of these super cool 3D assets for? Uh, like, f f where from? Is it AI stuff? <laughs> This has to be AI, right? How though? Is AI really that advanced? By the way, Jackie Chan, absolutely please. <laughs> okay, these AI 3D images, how on earth? I don't understand. Chef Ramsay! Obama. Tom Cruise. This looks so cool. I, like, whoever did this, whoever made this... How? Just tell me how. I don't understand. I see Joe. Wow. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. My god, technology is awesome. My sincerely apologies. I would like to apologize to everyone I have heard with my posts lately, especially to you, Stern Sky. I'm a big fan of your channel and big MK Mobile player since 2016. These posts were only the great frustration that I had in me. Because... Because what? And, uh... Apology accepted. Thank you for owning up to... To the things that, you, the, like admitting that you were wrong, and I, I appreciate it. Welcome back, welcome back to the community. I, I hope you are sincere because I do remember you've been like I, I remember enjoying your posts a lot, and I hope you can go back to post some cool positive things. Oh, here is the continuation because the the whole community has been asking for a new game mode for a long time, and everyone was starting to bash it in all directions. I can say that I grew up with this game alongside with your videos, and I didn't like that you were doing lately. Anyway, I apologize to everybody again. Okay, so I, I don't think I don't think I was bashing the quest mode. I mean the the crypt mode at all. In my video, I showcased a lot of positive sides to it, and also a couple things that could be improved. I wouldn't call it bashing. I never said it was a bad a bad game mode, but in my opinion, there are certain things in it that could be improved. But it's definitely a step in the right direction, and I've said it in the multiple videos. I I absolutely love the latest update. It's it's definitely a step in the right direction, and I hope they're gonna continue making steps in the right direction, and continue improving the issues that the game still has. They already improved a lot of issues, but there is still a lot of work to be done. Please, MK Mobile team, I hope I hope you're gonna stay on this path, and we're gonna have 
make Mortal Kombat great again. I'm I'm looking forward to that day. Just a joke. I'm simply too fast. I'm simply too fast. <laughs> oh, I wish it was that simple. I wish it was that simple. <laughs> Most intense 8 seconds ever. My 8k HP survival mode boost points characters. Uh oh. Guys, if you see Aftershock Tremor in enemy team in survival, just skip it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just skip, skip yourself the trouble. Tremor will wreck your whole run. Oh my god, that was intense. That was so intense. Also, I love the name. Loose Logan. Varmint's Lucky Hat is a good gear. Use it in survivor mode. Varmint's Lucky Hat is probably the best piece of gear in the game. I've said it before, I'll say it again. In any game mode, it's just so OP. Absolutely ridiculous. Me trying to resist the urge to spend all my souls just to open two MK11 packs. <laughs> wow, those veins are insane. Yeah, I can I can understand the feeling. If you have MK11 Scorpion already, though, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter if he has Fusion 0, Fusion 1, or even Fusion 2. Uh, he's already got tier. And unless you get him to higher fusions, it, it doesn't really matter. So, But on the other hand, what else would you open? new pay to win packs even though they have good diamond chances the diamonds that you get from them are not going to be very helpful to beginners at least so i don't know i don't know what to advise i don't know how it happened but i now have two fusion 5 mk11 scorpions it happened while loading martial artist team on relic hunt by the way it's my first post here new boy here hopefully starring scammy see it please upvote mighty phoenix welcome to the subreddit I'm pretty sure this is a temporary glitch. After you restart the game, you're gonna be back to only having one MK11 Scorpion. Or you're gonna get banned. I, I hope not. Just try to restart the game. I really hope it goes away, because otherwise... That account is gone. Memes. Mostly about the crypt. Alright, let's see. 30 minutes in. Me getting ready to grind crypt. <laughs> I have to agree. I have to agree. So I'm doing a challenge this week. I don't know if I if this video is gonna live before that video or after, but I'm doing the challenge where I'm grinding for classic rain in my crypt store. I'm grinding 14,000 points, and my God, I want to die. I it's just I don't think I, I will want to play crypts ever again after this week. And if you want to know if I actually got any random drops this time. Watch that video, it's gonna be awesome. MK11 team, Day of the Dead team, Ronin team. Well, this is not about Crypt, but it's very accurate. Soul spending spree. Crypt hard spending spree. <laughs> There's no spree. Usually you're just gonna buy one thing, because it, like, it's pretty hard to grind for, for those diamond cards. And there's no point to buy gear. I, I highly recommend you to not buy gear from Crypt Store at all. I mean the crypt gear because it does drop it does drop in in random battles and you're if you're grinding crypt consistently you're gonna max it out sooner or later it may be a couple months it, it may be a year or two but only buy gear if you're about to like expire and you don't have enough points to buy any diamond card that's the only case when i would buy gear but if you're not gonna grind for the diamond card this week probably shouldn't touch the crypt at all just only play it if you're gonna grind it out to get if you really see the diamond in the shop that you really want to get that's the most efficient use uh, for the time in my opinion and you're gonna be getting those gears along the way anyway saving hearts weak refreshes <laughs> my god that's accurate that is very accurate me ace of knaves joker 14,000 points 1,371 hearts. <laughs> okay, these are good memes. L Lyron, I, I enjoyed it a lot. Well done. Oh, wait, there's one more. Netherwell. Release diamond, Jackie Bricks, or draw 25. 
we have so many diamonds to, to yet to be have. We have we don't have diamond Kotal Khan. We don't have diamond Jackie Briggs. We don't have diamonds. Who else? We don't have. Is there any anybody else who we don't have diamond of? I can't even think of right now. That might be it. Why they reset my account to level one? Please upvote so then everyone can see this. So there is two explanations. Number one, you got locked out. It happened to me before. You just sometimes open your game and you have like player level one account, but that's because you have been locked out or your WBID account. So that's why it's important to have WBID account at all times. Because if that happens, you can just go click your banner, then click login put back your WBAD info and log back into your account. That happened to me before. I got super scared, but I was able to log back and get my account back. Another option that also happened to some people, thankfully didn't happen to me, is that it's just gone. Your account just got overwritten on, on the server with an empty account. With the same... I mean, but you don't have the same name. I think I'm... I'm very confident that in your case, you should be able to log back in if you have WBID account. Because usually if players get reset, they, they keep their name. So it just says their name, level two, level 2 or level 1 account. So you should be able to get it back. I can upload it, uh, a complete video about this on my YouTube channel. Why is there so many words, bro? Bro. Bro. <laughs> Also, why are you using this font? Try to log in with you again after clearing the data. Yes, you're right. I got my account back. Here you go. Problem solves. The, the helper star in sky is in service. On service. On duty. <laughs> duty. My first post. Please have votes so Star can see. Wow, we're getting a lot of new posters on Reddit. Well done, South Briar. Let's see. Me making a full dot team. Eleven team with some kill eleven jade. <laughs> Yeah, th that's the only weakness of a full dot team. In any other battles, they're just gonna melt everything. Except when you face these guys. So that's why I have very, like... I, I can't justify making a full dot team for crypts. Because every other boss battle is gonna have MK11 team with MK11 Jade. And for some reason, even though their boss isn't dot immune, they're not dot immune when it's convenient, and they're still healing from your dots. Stupid game. So it's okay for to, to for them not to take damage from dots, but uh, to heal from dots? Yeah, sure, ev every time. You're welcome. Great. <laughs> Check out my Mortal Kombat 1 Reddit. Or edit. All right, let's see Raiden Light. I have a feeling this one is a copyrighted music, so let's just see it without the music. Ooh. Damn, yeah, MK11... MK1 looks so good. Yep, absolutely. 100%. Nice! I hope... I, uh, you should send it to Netherrealm. Maybe they, they'll pay you and use it in their promotional materials. It basically summarized all of the trailers they released. I like it. It's very precise and to the point. What the hell is this? <laughs> you got yourself a circle. Oh boy. How is there... Okay, this is not even funny anymore. Why is there so many glitches in this game? Why? Like, why? I... I the, like, this update was really great. Everything is amazing. But there's so many glitches in the game for no reason at all. They, they gotta fix them all. They gotta fix them all. Because this is... This is kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's do one more. I kept track of how many souls I got every day for nearly a month. 10,579 would be my final amount. 
Oh, that's your balance. I thought that's how many souls. Wait, what? Opened. Come on. So, so you got 10,579 souls in a month. It's about 300, 350 souls a day. Yeah, that checks out. That's like, that's a hardcore grind, but it's definitely possible. One hour quests, doing all the challenges, doing all the uh, like survival missions, grinding out. Yeah, definitely checks out. Good numbers. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed a Reddit review. This time a positive one. Let's go. That's what I like to see. It makes me feel much better. Feel very uh, joyful. And hopefully this video helps to spray the joy around to everybody who is watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, members of the Patreons, for supporting this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Yeah.